These are the tools you'll need to replace the turning motor, pliers, a ratchet and an allen key because the bolts are allen keyed and not Phillips head, your wire strippers, your crimps, if you don't have uh, wire strippers and that you can just use a pair of pliers to strip your wires, your marine crimps and your screwdriver. To remove the covers. We're going to replace the turn motor. We've taken the covers off. Both the motors, whether it be the remote control or the non-remote control, have exactly the same plug. On the non-remote control motors, it's just the one with two wires. On the remote control ones, there is no other plugs in there. So if you just disconnect the one with two wires, you'll be fine. Slide your depth collar up out of the way. Depress the lever and tilt your motor backwards. Now you will need to hold it down while it's up there and the easiest way to do it, get yourself a piece of string and just tie it to your release bracket. Right, now you'll need to take your Allen key and undo the four Allen head screws that hold the two pieces together. The next thing, just grab your pointy nose pliers and take your Allen screws out. You don't have to worry about the bottom two, they can stay as they are. Next step, just release a bit of rope. The next thing to do is tilt your motor back down slowly, bearing in mind that your case is split in half. Sometimes they jam and then you'll need to remove your back screws. And then just remove the top half of your housing. Now you'll only be able to lift it up that high at the moment. The next thing to do is just take your pliers and cut the tail off the end of it. We need to leave it about four inches long so we've got room to work with when we reattach it to the new motor. Grab your wire that's gone through and pull him back through that way and out there. Get your piece of string that you had earlier, the top part of the housing, just tie it to the top of the motor so it's out of the road. So now we're going to remove the four screws that hold the turn motor in. There's one, two, three and four. If you undo the screws part of the way each, about halfway is good, then lift the motor and unscrew them the rest of the way, they shouldn't fall in the hole. So there's your turn motor out with your four screws still intact. The big brass gear on the bottom is actually what turns your shaft, so we need to remove that. It's only pushed on. Take your screws out. There's your old turn motor out. New one ready to go in. We've got our gear and our four screws, and that's all we'll need to put the old one back and a couple of crimps. Right, this is how the new motor will come. It looks exactly the same as the old one. The cable will be a bit longer. Just remember when you put the motor in, the scalloped out section will face the shaft. The first thing we're going to do is got to put our gear on. Your drive gear goes on one way. The turn down bit, not the flat bit, goes to the bottom on like that. The shaft has a flat in it. The gear will also have a flat in it. So take a bit of grease. Smear it on the shaft, put your gear on with the tapered side down and just turn it till you feel the flat which is there, push it down, put another bit of grease on the top, it'll stay there while you put it in. Put all your screws in. Now located in the bottom of the housing are your four screw holes and in the middle is the locating hole for your shaft. Right now we're going to put it in the same way it come out, just lower it down till you feel it hit bottom. You'll feel the shaft drop in and then just go around and put a couple of turns in each screw. They all, all should stay in place. Doesn't matter which order you tighten them up in. Right, next, untie your top. Lower it down a little bit. The cable goes over the top of the stainless pin. Just grab it with your other hand and push it up through the holes. Push it up. Just keep lowering it as you're pushing it up. Just grab your pliers and start feeding them through until the black pops out the top. Right, spin him around front ways, keep lowering and pulling your cable through at the back. The cable will pass on one side of this, don't pull it so tight that it strangles it. Get your pliers again, pull him up at the back. Get a screwdriver, Just poke him to the side. Now. At this stage, it will jam up. Push your lever down at the back to release your pins. And there it is, back in place. When it's back and sitting all flush, take your first two bolts. Make sure you put some grease on the shafts and tighten them up. 
Now we need to replace the two rear bolts, so just tilt your motor back up. Tie them off with your piece of string. Pre-grease the bolts. Use a pair of long nose pliers to put them in. Tighten them up. Release your piece of string. Lower the motor down. Right, the short bit we cut off earlier. Just get your fingers behind it and pull the outside coating off. Strip your pieces of wire around about that 10 mil. Give your wires a bit of a twist. Get your connectors, make sure they're marine grade, put them on each one. Get your crimping pliers. Simple, white to white, black to black. Your part that you received will have pre-soldered ends, so there's no need to strip anything. Done. Now, it's only a matter of connecting that plug to the plug you separated it from. Only goes on one way, push the little tab at the back down, there's a lug on the other one, push them together, put your covers back on.